We gathered here today in our own church of the Bangalore to celebrate the 74th Independence Day. On this occasion, I would like to extend a warm welcome to our dignitaries, our invitees, the staff, and to the online viewers on behalf of the Society of Island Church of the Bangalore. The program begins with the hoisting of the flag by the President, followed by the recital of the National Anthem. On the occasion of the 74th Independence Day of the Republic of India, I, Dr. Marjorie Von Ballingham, Consul General of France, wish all Indians a happy Independence Day. I would like to take this opportunity to reaffirm France's friendship with India. I would have been happier to wish you in person, but, but going by the current situation, we will have to contend with the world. Dear citizens, distinguished guests, the members and the staff of the Society of Alliance France in Bangalore. This day of August 15th bears a testimony to the end of European and colonial subjugation of India from 1605 to 1947. Over 300 years of curtailment and slavery depriving Indians of their rightful right to freedom and self-reliance, which our Honorable Prime Minister calls Atma Devata. May I on this August day quote few lines of the first speech of our first Prime Minister of India, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. Long years ago, we made a twist with destiny and now the time comes when we shall redeem our pledge not only or in full measure but very substantially at the stroke of the midnight hour when the world sleeps India will awake to life and freedom. A moment comes when it comes but rarely in history when we step out from the old to the new. When an age ends and when the soul of a nation long suppressed finds utterance. It is fitting that at this solemn moment we take the pledge of dedication to the service of India and her people and to the still larger cause of humanity. Our national flag, the tricolor of saffron, white and green represent Indian ethos. Saffron symbolizes the courage, sacrifice, and renunciation. The white denotes truth and purity. And the green stands for life, faith, and chivalry. The wheel in the center is a representation of the chakra, 
which appears on the abacus of India's great emperor Samrat Ashoka's pillar. The wheel symbolizes unceasing motion and progress. India has gained her independence by the dedication, struggle and sacrifice of leaders and scores of freedom fighters. This freedom movement has paid, has paid way for Indian independence and the modern India. May I quote on this occasion Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose. Forget not that the process crime is the compromise with injustice and wrong. Remember the eternal law you must give if you want to get. A key figure in Indian freedom movement and architect of constitution of India who championed the cause of the Dalits in India, Dr. Bhim Rao Ramji Ambedkar said, Freedom of mind is the real freedom. A person whose mind is not free, though he may not be in chains, is a slave, not a free man. One whose mind is not free, though alive, is no better than dead. Freedom of mind is the proof of one's existence. Not voting the father of our nation, Mahatma Gandhi, this speech would be incomplete. He said, Freedom is never dear at any price. It is the breath of life. What would a man not pay for living? We continue to be inspired and guided by our leaders, thinkers, and philosophers. And we are on a constant quest for the freedom, which is really a state of mind. Today is definitely a day of celebration, but also and environment has left the whole world in the middle of pandemic COVID-19 that has challenged human existence and social life. Leaving the entire human race in touch and host of uncertainties of having to celebrate all events virtually. This celebration too is going virtual on social media. Our country uses a sense of warm and togetherness to identify each other with various religions, cultures and languages. A privilege no other country enjoys like you do. The ease with which we embrace a spectrum of culture is what leads to the creation of an institution like Alliance France. This freedom of the mind is achieved engagement in art and culture. Such engagement is in the, is in the essence of the foundation of Alliance France in Bangalore. We in the Society of Alliance France Bangalore are committed to uphold the ethos of our great nation. The Society of Alliance France Bangalore has been a harbinger of Indo French language. For over five decades in Bangalore, our two nations enjoy a good relationship, collaborating and cooperating on shared interests to build ourselves into a great nation to effectively address emerging challenges. I, as a person of this institution, along with my brother, We are looking forward to things like the innovation of our auditorium into a state of the art cultural center, an aesthetically pleasant place for art gallery and many Indo French cultural programs and festivals to make our campus one of the finest hubs of creative and cultural activities. Along with that, we are planning to strengthen our pedagogy digital classrooms. We are committed to our objectives while retaining our identity and liberty of being an independent society committed to its cause. I thank 
all the guests, members, or past executive members we have invited as esteemed guests and our members who are some of our, them are here and some of them are watching online. The staff of the society. Thank you all for your wishes. 